Did I make you jump? I'm pretty sure I did. But just trying to keep you guys on your toes and wake you guys up this morning because I know sometimes these videos can get a little, uh, little snooze fest. So today makes at home workout number 33. As we get started today, we're going to start off with a three round warm up. So no Tabata, but we're going to be doing 10 prisoner squats, then 10 good mornings. You can do those body weight or weighted either way. And then we're going to finish with five muscle snatches. We're going to be doing those three movements for three rounds. All right, guys, so for a warm-up that we're going to be doing three rounds of, we're going to start off with a prisoner squat. So our hands are going to be behind our heads, fingers are interlocked. As we go down, we're keeping our posture, weight in the center of the foot, get all the way down below parallel, and then standing tall. We're doing 10 of those. Once we finish that, we're going to go into a good morning. So if you don't want to use a barbell, if you don't have weight, you can just do body weight. So a slight bend in the knee, push the knees and hips back as we hinge at the waist, take our chest to the floor. So 10 good mornings there, but if you want to do them with a the barbell, you can just put the barbell on your back and do that same movement. So either way. Then we're going to finish with a muscle snatch. So I'm more concerned with the turnover, so if you want to take these from the floor, you can, but if you want to take them from the hip, you can do that as well. So we're starting here in a tall position if you're coming from the hang, and then all we're doing is dip, pull, and press, okay? If you have an empty barbell, then you can start with just a straight arm pull and press, but if you have a little bit of weight and you need some momentum, then you can dip, drive, keeping that bar close, and then getting that pattern for the barbell as we warm up for those snatches. So 10 prisoner squats, 10 good mornings, and then finishing with five muscle snatches. All right, guys, as we get into our strength today, we're going to be continuing with snatches like we've been doing uh, the last few Fridays. So today we're going to be doing a 10-minute EMOM of one snatch or one squat snatch, if you would, because I want you guys to get below parallel. If that means a power snatch, then I want you to overhead squat. But I want you guys to get in the habit of receiving the bar as you go down into that squat position. So a 10-minute EMOM, every minute on the minute, you're going to be doing one snatch building throughout that 10 minutes. So you're building to a heavy single here. If not a PR, if you hit a PR, awesome. If not a PR, then just building um, to a heavy rep for the day, focusing on those positions that we always go over. But you're gonna be doing one snatch every minute on the minute for 10 minutes. All right guys, so today for our hero workout, it's gonna be a little bit different than normal hero workouts that we usually do because this one is gonna be a quick one. Usually hero workouts, take 20, 30, 45 minutes. But this one is going to take anywhere from three to eight minutes, but it's a fast workout. I want you to, to get this workout done as quickly as possible. So it's a 21, 15, nine of an overhead squat and a burpee. These burpees are just regular burpees. They're not burpee over the bar. So just an overhead squat, 95, 65 and a standard burpee. All right guys. So Jeremy is going to start off with 21 overhead squats. If you guys are confident enough, you can squat snatch that first rep, but if not, then I want you to situate the bar overhead and then start your overhead squats. So as we get that bar up overhead, we're going to keep the bar behind the ears. As we start the overhead squat, we're breaking at the hips and the knees, keeping our eyes and chest forward, going all the way below parallel, and then standing all the way up, squeezing our knees and our butt at the top. Okay, Make sure we're not leaving our hips back as we're trying to go fast. Okay, make sure you complete the rep. Now for these, uh, for the weight, 95-65, is it, if this isn't a weight that you can do 21 reps unbroken easily, then I want you to scale the weight, okay? You should be able to go unbroken, but if it's your game plan to break these reps up, then that's your game plan. But I'd rather you go fast than have to break this up two or three times in each set. Okay? This should be a lightweight that you're able to cycle very easily and get these reps done. Okay, 21 overhead squats, then we're going into 21 standard burpees. So chest to the floor as we come up, replace the feet or the hands with the feet as we keep our hips up. Okay, make sure that we're not coming up out of the bottom of that burpee and then bouncing on our ankles or squatting using our legs more than we have to. Okay, shoot those hips in the air, replace the hands with the feet, and then stand up and jump. Okay, 21, 21, then we go 15, 15, and then 9, 9. All right, not a whole lot of time to rest here. So 
get that work done as quickly as possible. And for our extra work today, we're going to be doing a little bro set. So, ABC work, we're going to be starting off with bicep curls, three sets of eight on each arm. Then we're going to be doing a tricep extension. You guys can have fun with this one. So, whatever tricep extension variation you want to do, if you want to go uh, behind the head, if you want to go a bent over kickback, if you want to do uh, banded tricep extensions, then you can do whichever uh, one you have for the equipment that you have. But we're doing three sets of eight if you're using a dumbbell, but if you're using a band, I want you doing three sets of 20 reps. Then we're gonna move on to a push-up hold. So, holding the bottom of that push-up position, chest is about an inch off the floor, shoulders are in your back pocket, holding that for max effort. So we're doing three sets of each movement, three sets of eight on the bicep curls, three sets of eight on the extensions if you're using dumbbells, three sets of 20 if you're using a band, and then for the push-up holds, we're doing three sets of max effort. So, rest as needed in between those sets, and then getting that work done. Have it guys that's all we have today for our at home workout number 33 I want to remind you guys don't forget to log your scores on the games website for your the support your local box workouts that deadline is tomorrow so you want to make sure it's today because I'm recording this on Thursday so the deadline is today on Friday for uh, submitting those scores so if you haven't done that already make sure you do that but hope you guys enjoy the workout today and are able to get outside and uh, push the pace on Jeremy. And don't forget to log your scores for that workout on the whiteboard. But like always, if you have any questions, always reach out to us. But we will see you guys on the next video.